welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking about a really good plugin called lobby api what this plugin basically does it's like um, a hub selector maybe it's related to that it gives you a really good lobby if you're looking for a lo plugin for lobby so i think it's really helpful if you guys are looking for a plugin and it also has some world, world configuration it's not only for lobbies okay so let's get started in sash hub is a basic command it shows you the word selector but oh maybe you don't like hub so it's okay you just type in sash lobby and it's not working oh it's working <laughs> if it didn't work though okay so i just had the lag but sash lobby and sash hub are working perfectly okay so now let's just say you want to add a specific word i'll put all of the commands on the screen so don't worry so first first to add the specific word i'll type in slash lobby api this is like the basic command and then you type in what do you need exactly you want to add a word okay and which word do you want to add I'll go for Dover, this is the one that I'm in and this is the slot because as you can see when I typed in slash hub it showed you like a chest so I'll just put it on the 6 slot okay and then this is the X and Y and Z if you want to set it to a specific position but if you want to set it to a place the place that you're sending in right now you just do this, this and this and that's it and it said it so how do i check i type in slash hub it may not appear but when i type it again tada, i got my own word right now and it's teleporting me to this area let's try hub here here i am okay so now how what if this is the main lobby how do i make it the main lobby you type in the same command and then you're going to type in set main lobby then you type in dover because this is the world i already have so now when i type in slash hub tada, it's the main word and look it kind of had a description so that means that i can add description right yup you can so how do you add a description you type in slash lobby api set description it sets a description and this is a description so let's just say a description okay now i'll type in hub and yup i got my own description really nice and as you can see the material is glass and maybe i don't love glass who knows i just want to change it what if it's a creative world maybe and i want to change it the glass so i'll type in slash ruby api <coughs> set material and once i type in set material i'll type the word and then it shows you all kind of materials so i'll just go with basic material stone okay now i've set it to stone successfully it has like an enchantment <coughs> really nice also and now what if you want to change the display name as you can see when i hover over it it's called dover because this is the name of this world actually but what if i want to change it i type in slash lobby api and then set display name okay then dover and then what do i want to call it creative let's go for creative okay now let me type in slash up and yeah i have created and it shows you the player inside also now let's just say this is a server okay and now i want to work on the plugins in the creative maybe so i want to whitelist the server so not anyone can access it so i'll type in slash lobby api uh, toggle whitelist and the specific word true slash false I'll make it true and now it's private oh let me make it to false ah uh, it's public really easy and you can do it for any other word as well so now let's just say this is a VIP server and you don't want it to be crowded oh man I love uncrowded servers okay <laughs> type in slash lobby APR then set max players and the word name and let's make it two players okay two players and then you type in slash hub and one of one out of two really easy this is why i really love this plugin i made my research and i chose this plugin okay so what if i want to change the spawn place maybe maybe here what you have to do will be api set 
Oh, I mean chain spawn, not set. Dover. Okay. And now you talk, here is the X and Y and Z. Or I can just do this. But it will tell you X, Y, Z. So you have to do this, this, this. This like three. I don't know what they call it. I'm sorry, but this sign means like in this position, in this X position and Y position that I am in right now, and Z position as well. If you need a specific position, just send uh, nine, whatever you need. But I'll go for this position, and it has been changed. Slash hub. Let me go to this, and yep, I'm here. Now, what if I don't want this weather, or maybe I need a rainy weather, it's always raining, maybe you need it, so here is the command, set default weather, Dover, and always rain, and it will always rain, but in this war, specific configuration for this world, I made a video about it in multiverse course, I made it to stop raining, and to do not allow any kind of weather change, so it's not going to rain, but Let's just say I want to add a command for someone joining the world. Like, who knows? Whenever he joins, he's gonna get it. So you type in add joining command and what world do you want it in? And then the command. So I stone uh, 20 maybe. Make sure to not type in any slash and any kind of space is accepted during this command, okay? Okay, so what if you want to remove this, the item that I've just added? As you can see, when I go here, I get 20 stone. Uh, what if I want to remove some stone as well? So what I'm going to do is remove joining command. As you can see, I added the stone already and adding command 0. And the command 0 is I stone 20. What if I want to remove it? I type in remove joining command, the specific word, okay, and then 0. It removes the command, so whenever I teleport again, I don't get any stone. Okay, so yep, that's how you remove a specific command. And what if I want to set a game mode? So in this world, I just need a, a specific game mode. So who knows, maybe you want it. And then you type in here the word, and then it shows you any all the type of game modes you can have so i'll make it creative so yeah now it changes whenever i leave and come back to this world it will change now before i end the video here are the two last commands this allows the player to save his specific um, location whenever he closes so you type in here set location saving the world and then true or false let's make it true Okay, and now the last command is called stop void looping. This enables or disables teleporting player to spawn if they are in void. So how do you type it in slash lobby API? Set void looping the world true or false. I'll just make it on false. Really easy. So this is the command. I tried to go through everything. Oh, actually, before I end, I almost forgot this about this one. So the last command is Ruby API set world selector. If you need a selector, and then the item you have, you need it in hand. So let's just say this item. Okay. Now you type in here slash Ruby API set world selector. So this has been set to the selector. Let me right click. Oh, it's actually selecting. But how do I remove it if I don't want it? So I just instead of set, I'll make it remove word selector. Ah, uh, it's normal now. I can build my own house. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to check my previous videos, if you need any help, tell me down in below. And for the previous videos, you can check out my channel if you want to. So I hope this tutorial helps you out in choosing your lobby plugin, maybe. And if you need any fast help, you can join my Discord. It's optional, though. You don't have to. So thanks for watching. Hopefully, I helped you out. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.